Five City family, guess who's back? We don't stop. We don't stop with one live stream a day, and we certainly don't stop when they kick us out of the grocery store because we finished shopping. We got that burning question answered, which I'll tell you about in a few minutes, and uh, we got everything to make dinner. And I got home, and Desi's like, please tell me you're not doing a live stream. I'm like, we kind of have to now, right, Roasty? Because they kicked us out 15, 20 minutes into our live stream. And made it pretty like, hard to cavell. Yeah, it made it very hard to cavell, right? So I'm like, we got to do it. I'm sorry. And we're going to make a really easy one anyway. Um, and why not? It's fun. I'm like, super casual. We didn't even bring out the lights tonight, so excuse the dim lighting. Um, but we're going to make whole that's roasted. How, that's how you sell merchandise, by the way. <laughs> Cheap material and dim lighting, Morty Seinfeld style. Uh, so it'll give people a chance to pop on here. I just scheduled it a minute ago. Um, we have whole roast branzino fish and everything to make a kale salad. But look at this, you guys. I'm ecstatic. This is back. Branzino is a Mediterranean white fish. It's from Greece. Ever since the beginning of Corona, so we're talking about February, March, Whole Foods has not carried this. And I've been missing it because it's Desi's favorite fish and it's one of my favorites. And I love to cook whole roasted fish because it's much harder to overcook and it's way more economical than getting a fillet of fish. I know it's kind of scary. I mean, look, Art, look into his eyes. He's like, why are you doing this to me? But actually, Art, what's the advantage of getting a whole fish in terms of looking at the eyes and maybe smelling it? What does that do? You can see what the fish is really all about. Exactly. But I'll tell you one thing. Yes. Tyler's really all about being generous. He gives two ninety nine. Hey, 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 there hey. he is. Tyler the Explorer. Uh, fresh fish will have clear eyes and it won't smell like fish. It'll smell like the ocean or have no smell. When you get a fillet, you don't know how old it is. If you get a whole fish, you can tell it's economical. And Art, what happens when you buy a bone-in steak? Why is it superior? It's more flavor. More flavor. The bones, the flavor. The same is true for fish. All those bones in there, a little bit of a pain in the beak. Yeah, I was going to say, a lot easier to eat a steak. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing about this, it does have a lot of bones, but it's worth it because that adds more moisture. And it's about $12.99 a pound. So one of these is about $12.99. Go to any restaurant if you ever go out to eat again. Uh, one of these will easily cost you $25 to $35. Bucks. And uh, it's always funny because when you order them at the restaurant, they never serve it with the head because they don't want to scare everyone. Really, like, ooh, it's scary, right? Sound like so, drunk uncle. <laughs> that's right. It's like they don't even serve fish with the heads on anymore. Uh, so we're gonna roast that. We'll stuff it with some aromatics and make a kale salad. Michael uh, Kobik expects us to eat the eye. Uh, yeah, I know it's a delicacy in Asia. Not for me. And I'll explain to you why we got kicked out of Whole Foods and why it's a misunderstanding and it won't happen again. Uh, so let's get rocking and rolling here. Melissa well, Regan just gave you three dollars and uh, blowing your hearts from a pair. Thank you, Sahara is here. Uh, Milwaukee River, five dollars. If you ask someone who's Chinese, you'll be told the head and the tail should be present because everything has a beginning and an end. Well said. I like that Confucius says. And D I Brown's agree. in the house. We got Shaheen in the house. Shaheen Renee Denham in the house. Parham. Stang man. I'll tell you exactly. Stang. Keep leaving comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from. My girl uh, Viviana's here. Amber's here. D, two in one day. D Brown. That's how we do it. We're like double headers. The Cubs have been playing a lot of double headers. D. Yeah, it was kind first. of seven innings last time. That's so right. The first place Chicago. What are the Brewers? Sub 500 easily. Everyone else in the NL Central is 500 or below. Go, bro, Jonathan Hill Kara. says, those eyeballs are scary. Well, Jonathan, this is Kara. for you then. Ha <laughs> ha. No, that's good, John Boy. John Boy. Um, hey, John Boy. So what happened, I'll tell you really quick, at Whole Foods is they have a new manager, and his name is Doug, and Doug didn't know us. We have permission to film at Whole Foods, and all the employees know me. So he saw me, and he had another guy uh, put the kibosh on it. So we finished, and I bought this, and I saw one of my friends who works there, and I said, hey, uh, we just got shut down by uh, some guy I've never seen. He's like, oh, I'm so sorry. Who was that? So he's like, let me introduce you to Doug. And Doug didn't know who we are. And uh, Brian, who's the, my, my friend, I say, because I know him so well, he's like, this is Bobby. Um, he has permission to film here. He um, has a, uh, a podcast on YouTube that's very popular. I'm like, it's close enough. And uh, then Doug's like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm like, don't worry about it. Uh, but uh, that left the burning question about shrimp, which I'm going to keep you on a cliffhanger for. So all is good. We won't have any more problems, thank God, because Whole Foods is my happy place. So let's get going. Branzino, oh, Mediterranean yeah, whitefish. Hello, how are you? I'm a whitefish from Greece. I have a very flaky texture, mildly oily, and all you have to do is season me simply and drizzle some extra virgin olive oil. That's a very Gaffigan voice that you just did there. It was. I just watched the Gaffigan Pale Tourist. So. Viviana's in the house. Vivs. Happy Thursday. Vivs. By the way, how does it look without our lights up? 
I was a little dark right now, but I think we'll be okay. Not too shabby. So here's what I want to do, you guys. I want to season I the see a inside. Fish <laughs> Check out the guts here. The I fish don't, don't have any. It's yeah, been the, exactly. eviscerated. The fish monitor takes the guts out for you and takes all the scales off. So a little bit of salt goes in the guts. A little bit of salt goes on the skin. A little bit of salt goes on the skin. The reason why they clean it for you is because it's shipped completely intact with the guts from Greece. Because the second you gut a fish, it's going to go downhill and decompose pretty quickly. Okay, and then I like to stuff it. Stuff it real good with some aromatics. How about some lemon, some ginger, and some parsley? So... Make Hilda happy. I, I'm all about making Hilda happy. Ooh, Lighting Flora totally seasons it with adobo. Mm. Mm. Adobo sounds good too, yeah. It's just nice because as the fish roasts in a 400 degree oven or grilled outside, it's getting like roasty on the outside, but steams in the middle. So if you uh, stuff the middle with aromatics, it'll steam or perfume the fish with the flavors of the inside. Maybe Viviana, you can come up with a Limerita uh, stuffing. That'd be really nice, but I'm just using a little bit of lemon. So we'll slice that. It was fun though, right? Doing those live streams, what do you guys prefer better? Live stream cooking demo or live stream uh, grocery haul? What's your honest opinion? I like doing both. All right, so a little bit of lemon. We'll take a little bit of gingy. Don't even have to peel it. Kabitka would like to see you do a salt encrusted fish in the near future. That's not a bad idea, uh, Mikey. I like the way you think. Mike, I, I somehow decided that we're in PE class. I'm calling you by last name only, so uh, hopefully you understand. Uh, both. Michael. <laughs> Both cooking, both, both, both. All right, all right. I'm a man of the people and parsley. A little bit of parsley. Uh, Shaheen says, "Why don't you make an herb butter and place it inside?" Um, because to be honest, Shaheen, I really love the flavor of the uh, branzino and the butter herb. Might add honestly too much flavor and overpower. It's a very delicate fish. Just a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. If you want to infuse that EVOO with chili flakes, citrus, or herbs, you can do that. So here's what I'll do, Arthur T. I'll take the fish like this. I'll put some gingy in there. I'll put two slices of lemon in there. And then a little bit of fresh flat leaf parsley. We don't uh, talk about parsley often, but go for Italian flat leaf parsley. Curly parsley is not that pleasurable to eat. I'm probably but butchering the name, but Bushra Felgata says, Hello there. I am from Morocco. We'd Ooh. love to have you come and visit. You'll absolutely love the food here. We watch your videos all the time. I'm also a follower on Instagram. Thank you. Well, keep watching because once things get back to normal, I want to do somewhat of a world tour. And yes, I want to go to Morocco. And what makes me so excited, what's the best part about traveling? It's about experiencing things with a local. Well, now we have local family members all around the world. So no matter where I visit, whether it's the UAE in Dubai with Shaheen, whether it's my friend who just said that in Morocco, whether it's uh, Our Australia. perfectly flawed, come to Zimbabwe too. Yes, see Zimbabwe. You guys can show me around and give us the real locals experience because nothing is like experience a local city with someone who lives there. It's just not the same when you go by yourself, looking at stupid maps and iPhones. Okay, here's how you cook it. Uh, a little bit of drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. So look, I bought the wrong one the other week. I was talking about California. I bought the Destination series. Destination unknown. And it is kind of unknown because I don't know the quality of these beans from beans. I keep saying that. Olives from Argentina or Chile or Portugal. I want pure California. Stang man, you're referring to hash browns, right? Okay, a little bit of EVOO. I'm going to do it just in his eyeball to get crispy in case someone wants to eat it tonight. You never know. Roasty might want it. Uruguay wants you to come. Emily Pierce says I'm in the UK. See there? Yeah, there you go. Even the UK. It's so much better with a local. So stay tuned. It will happen eventually. Okay, I'm going to roast this now in the oven. 400 degrees for four for 20 minutes. Are you going to use convection? Um, Chris, I was thinking about it. No, I'm not going to do it because... That was my question. It, his, oh, you're not going to... I said sure it on, his, on, on the behalf of staying man. I'm sh um, because I'm not going to eat the skin. It's one of the fishes you don't really want to eat the skin unless you got it super crispy in a pan. And that's not going to happen. So in case you're joining, that's what's going on. We're making oven roasted branzino, Desi's favorite fish. We're about to make uh, kale salad with uh, keto croutons. Leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. If you didn't hear earlier, 
Uh, the reason we got kicked out of, uh, kicked out, asked to stop filming at uh, Whole Foods today is because they have a new manager, Doug, and he didn't know who we were and that we have permission to film at Whole Foods. So that won't happen again, but um, at least we got a good uh, 20 minutes out of it. D. Brown says, Arthur Allensey won't come to Lambeau maybe in 2021. <laughs> well, yeah. I've been to Lambeau, not to a game, but. You have for what? They have their uh, Packers Hall of Fame museum oh. there. And took a tour of that thing back in the day when I was doing a Lake, Lake Michigan Circle tour with my dad. Oh, okay. We stopped in Green Bay on the way home. It was fun. Everyone knows me so well, so I'm, no, I'm guessing you guys are knowing what kind of kale is this. Huh? What kind of kale do I have here, and is it organic or conventional? Shaheen wants to know if couscous would go well with this fish or quinoa. Yes, yes, couscous would be loved. And Goju Jang says, wait, is there a shrimp update coming? Oh, thank you, Goju Jang. We have a shrimp update. So, well, TL just got it. Southern California's in the house. Uh, organic, organic, dino, lacinato, black, Tuscan, Nice. Milwaukee Brewer got it all. Yes, it's organic, black, lacinato, dinosaur, or uh, Tuscan kale. All those. Hello. Yeah, we said hello to everyone, Roasty. Look, Rose. Hello. Let's say hi to everyone, Rose. Hello. Hello. I had a good nap and I'm feeling good. I'm ready for dinner. You ready for dinner, Roasty? Huh? Yeah, I can only kiss you on your head because my darn cold sore. Mwah. I got the L-lysine coming though. I ordered that yesterday. Uh, oh, I want to do an update of uh, doing some Instagram stories at the same time. I don't want to have them feel left out. You got Tree Turdy Tree watching right now. Tree Charty Tree on the clock. Oh, that's garbage roast. Oh, okay. hold on one second, you guys. All right, in the oven, I have the whole roasted branzino, or the whole branzino, stuffed with ginger, lemon, a little bit of parsley, salt, and pepper. It's going to cook for 20 minutes on the dot. Art is chronicling the experience right there. Okay. All right. I feel. Uh, hey, Kara, Milwaukee Brewer says hi, Kara, with a C. Hi, guys. <laughs> okay. Oh, I want to make the homemade uh, crouton. So I have this base culture uh, keto paleo cheese bread here. Check it out, Art. This is one of their new breads. Should have bought some crouton sticks. Yeah. You already have your crouton and So this crouton is the. Croutons. It's actually vegan paleo. Uh, Keto cheese bread, so it's seasoned with nutritional yeast. Viviana said she heard if you apply a lime arita to a cold sore, it'll go away in an hour. <laughs> Might want to try that. What, else, what do you have to lose? I don't have anything to lose. And actually, thanks to Instagram recommendations yesterday, I ordered uh, 1,000 milligrams of L-lysine, and that's supposed to actually prevent it from ever coming back. So I, look I heard to hydrochloric that. acid will just melt your face off. That I guess that would take work, care of the cold sore, that too. Would work too. Yeah. That would work, too. We'll take depends a little bit the, of that. Depends on the molar. Mystery extra virgin olive oil here. And then just toasting these in the oven are gonna make them crispy. And uh, way better than buying anything from the store because number one, they don't have keto, uh, gluten-free, paleo breadcrumbs. And this is with that great base culture bread that's expensive, I know, but I can make it better by adding a little bit of smoked paps and then a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder. Does Whole Foods carry that bread? Yes, Heidi in the Biggs freezer section. Know. And almost every... Uh, so I know the uh, CEO just from emailing each other. And Whole Foods really likes her. It's a woman-owned company. And I believe they're at almost every Whole Foods in the, uh, in the uh, country. So if you try it out and like it, tag them and tag me on Instagram stories. Uh, I'm trying to put together a collaboration. They have a very limited budget, but I told them I'll do it for a discount because I love them and we can really generate some track if, traffic if they offer us a really nice Kovitka promo. Kovitka says SPG would top those croutons very nicely. What does that mean? I assume salt, pepper, garlic. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I did all that. I don't know. I just... Oh, you yeah. do the garlic. Thank you. The pepper. You like the pepper. Then we'll just toss them on a quarter sheet tray here. Oh, check out the new pan I got to show you. Art seasoned my carbon steel pan, y'all skis. Any, oh, we got any, the shrimp too. Any EVOO in there? Yeah, there's EVOO. Yes, yes, sir, ma'am. I'm gonna set a different timer for that. So, as soon as the uh, live stream got cut off, we went to JR, the fishmonger, and we asked him, JR, if I bought the wild caught shell on poop on shrimp, would you devein them and deshell them? And he said, yes, we do everything. I said, even that? He said, look at the sign. The sign said, we will fillet, clean, uh, deshell. De -shell. I said, well, you should really update the sign to say de-poop, which he laughed about, but they will do it for you. That being said, 
I would tip them, give them five bucks if they do it. And if they're very busy, maybe don't ask them to do it because it's gonna take, it takes quite some time to do that. All right, Roski, we got kale here, Rose. Look at this. Uh, Annette, is that Annette who invented the kale hack? Yeah. Annette, check it out. We take, check it out now. Funk soul, brother. Got my washed kale here, washed. Machine washable. Nice fat boy slim uh, throwback there, buddy. And we just put it in here. This is a DIY food hack. The whole corn hoodie takes the kale off of the stalk there. Now you can save the stalks if you want, slice them thin, pickle them with vinegar, salt, peppercorns, garlic, a touch of coconut sugar. If you want, I don't, I just don't do that. If you want it to be zero waste. People Where do you don't save their kale stalks anymore? <laughs> Another drunk uncle reference. Yeah. Uh, Richard Marcotte says, got some Southwest swag to send you. How? Hey! Email is it, you is it nice swag or is it like cheesy? I'm not a big fan of wearing like logo stuff. Is, is it like cheesy Southwest swag, Richard? I'm not trying to be like a... You're going to look like a flight attendant by the yeah, time Yeah, I don't want to look like a flight attendant. You got, I want it to be like decent stuff. Like, I appreciate that, but I hate like that cheesy stuff where it's like, ah, I can't wear that. But thank you. If it's nice... Uh, I want to know if he has a shirt that says, that's transparency. That would actually be maybe a cool shirt. Southwest is great because they have all those credit cards with Chase. There's like three business, three personal. I've gotten hundreds of thousands of miles on there. And then because you get over 110,000 miles, Richie boy, I got the companion pass for Desi multiple times. So right now through the end of January, my companion flies free. You can, I'm like a walking advertisement for Southwest, and you can switch your companion up to three times. So throughout the year, Art's been my companion back in the day when we used to travel. Then I switch it back to uh, Desi. So Richard, I would suggest you email Bobby at FlaveCity.com. Yeah, Bobby it, at FlaveCity.com. Richie me. <laughs> Melissa Regan, $10. I have only Bobby approved items now. Laird Superfood, Who Chocolate, Thrive, all links you drop. I can't wait for your book. Your channel is gold. You've added years back to our lives in my Dang, house. Missy, thank you, thank Melissa. Thank you for that. I love that I'm going. What's up, JG? Thank you for that. Aduo says, have you ever tried Persian cuisine? Um, yes, but not enough. Middle I, Eastern I've only food had is, that awesome rice dish. But. Middle Eastern food is actually my favorite cuisine in the world. I Richard love Marcotte the got a Laird Superfood order the other day, yesterday. N nice, Richie. Imagine, Richie, uh, I don't know what you do for Southwest. You're not a flight attendant, are you? But imagine being a flight attendant or a pilot, carrying Laird Superfood with you and then be able to make that coffee on the run. Now, I'm not sure you'd want to use the boiling water. I've heard from multiple sources, Richie. What do you say that um, the water on the airplanes, even though if it's boiled, it's still like dirty. They don't clean the water system very often there. What say you about that? I'm sure he's going to say Southwest is fine. <laughs> yeah. That's what I would say if I was <laughs> Well, Southwest gives you those three cans of uh, Deja Blue water. I always say, do you mind if I get a whole can of water in there? Usually very nice to do it. How about that video the other day of two people fighting on the jetway of a Spirit Airlines? That would never happen with Southwest because they have transparency, free bags, no check fees, and you can cancel your flight up to 10 minutes before and get no penalty. You are now free to see the country. <laughs> Portable, oh, sorry. Potable water is questionable at any airline. Says yeah, go to potable. Gang. What does the word potable mean? Potent potables. That was always on Celebrity Jeopardy with SNL. Yeah, yeah, that sounds, that sounds familiar. Good evening, everyone. Keep leaving comments down below. You need to try West Indian food. I bet I would love that. I love Indian food. Right? Oh, will fennel see. go well in the salad or will it be overpowering? No, fennel would be lovely. Fine sliced fennel. Lovely. Uh, bought Laird Superfood, posted to... Ost, so happy, can't wait to try the unflavored super fuel and mint mixture. Yeah, Jackie, that, you, know you know it's coming uh, this month? They just shipped it uh, yesterday, Peely Nuts. And I'm gonna have a great promo. Peely Nuts could be the next big food in the US. It's the highest fat, lowest carb nut in the world. It's like eating crispy butter. They're wild, uh, sprouted, and absolutely delicious. They're from the Philippines, and they're coming to Laird Superfood September 15th. TL has a question for both of us. Have you guys been to Denmark and had our rye bread? No. I've can't. been to the airport in Copenhagen. That's it. And I really want to know about your rye bread because I'm Finnish and yeah, we right. eat a lot of uh, our version of rye bread there. So I want to know if it's different or not. Whoa. Maddie's in the house. Love these spontaneous live streams. Yes, Welcome back. I mean, listen, viewership doesn't get as high necessarily, but who cares? We're hanging out with the fam. Shay M. I had a uh, burrito bowl today with chicken. Thank you. 
Yeah, Art and I, our go-to lunch, if we can't make lunch here, is Chipotle. I love Chipotle because it's the healthiest, highest quality of fast food. Everything's mostly non-GMO and pretty clean. Compare that to anyone else, it's miles above. Finley says, whoop, hang on. I'll take swore. <laughs> nice. That's S words. <laughs> Amy just bought lava for well, the first the time since Rose was it. She convinced me, not you. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Lava's a little silly, so they don't have a marketing budget. So I'm like, okay, you know, I'm still happy to like promote it in my videos. And I, by promote it, I say I like recommend it when I'm talking about uh, yogurt, right? It's not an official like collaboration like Laird Superfood pays me, right? And then, so they were sending me free yogurt and everything. And then they're like, oh, I'm sorry, we can't send you any more yogurt. Like our budgets are down. And I was, I very nicely said to him, guys, just so you know, like I'm more than happy to give you the free exposure, but by saving yourself a few bucks with products and not giving it to me, it's a little silly, but they're a small company and they just don't get it. Richard Marcotte says that Southwest cleans their water, aircraft water system with ozone every 30 days. Works super well. Oh, that's good to know. Okay. Whereas my, the people at Laird, they're so happy with our collaboration. So obviously sponsors are very important to the channel. That's how I really make a living doing this. And I only bring you guys sponsors that are best in class in the grocery store, right? So Laird is a small company. They were a little nervous about sponsoring and paying the money. They are ecstatic because so many people are buying Laird. They had no idea what like social media influencing or marketing can do. And they're so happy with our partnership and your support. Same as with Thrive Market. They're so darn excited with you guys. Um, so thank you for supporting the people who support this channel. And thank you for trusting me to bring you guys the best stuff. If I ever bring you something like made from Coca-Cola or like a Tostito, get, you have the permission to have Art punch me in the face. How about that? Uh, Harmony Lowell is connect, correcting us, both of us, because said West Indian equals from the West Indies, not West Indian. Oh, thank you. So for... I have not had West Indian cuisine. I heard Indian and I said, I love Indian cuisine. And now I want to try West Indian cuisine. Yeah. I don't know much about that. Yeah, we love it, right? Can you recommend a good kitchen knife set? So Ryan, I don't recommend buying knives. Actually, click right here. I did put this link. Check it out. I don't right. recommend buying knives. I don't recommend buying a knife set. Yeah, use your hands. Me chop, me chop hard. Grow some fingernails. Click this link right here. This is my Amazon shop page. I recommend getting a couple knives from there. Don't buy a whole set. You won't need it. And then if you want to sign up also for my immune tea, we have 12,000 people on the waiting list for my organic turmeric and ginger immune system boosting tea. Add your email to that list. You'll be one of the first people to get a push notification. So the reason why I say that is because you're probably not going to use all the knives in a set. You need an eight inch chef's knife and you need a paring knife to start. That's it. Milwaukee Burr says, if Art punches you in the face, it needs to be on camera. <laughs> Obviously, otherwise it didn't happen. No, maybe you punch in the stomach. Nope, punch in the face, you said it first. But my face is your case. Punch in the face. So a little bit, uh, we're gonna call this the colon blow salad because it's got fiber rich red cabbage, it's got fiber rich kale, and then it's got vitamin C loaded red peppers. Fun fact, red peppers have the second most vitamin C of any fruit or vegetable in the grocery store. A half cup portion of red peppers has, what was it, uh, 324% of the daily recommended intake of vitamin C. That is fantastic. Oz Family One says, hey Art, how about keto friendly bread recipe? Well, Desi's got a keto bread on the blog. She does. But to be honest, I would make her paleo bread recipe. It's still keto and it's so much better because it has a touch of tapioca starch. Rich and that adds some elasticity to the uh, bread. Richard says he got eight bags of creamer. I'm going to give a bag to three flight attendants. I know, I think it'll catch on. Amazing. Denny M, Super Chat, $4.99 with a little fox saying hiya. <laughs> Thank you, you very much for that Super Thank Chat, you, Denny. that's very sweet of you, Denny. Love to see that. Actually, the last time we flew uh, Southwest before the pandemic, we went to, where did we go? Me, Desi, and Rose went to... Florida, right? Was it Florida? Yeah, went to Florida. Went to Florida to visit everything Erica. And uh, one of the Southwest people at the check-in counter recognized me in the family. And then one of the flight attendants recognized us too. It was really fun. Renee Denham wants to know if you have cooked collard greens. Um, I really don't do it very often. But you have? But I, um, yeah, I have a long time ago. What I normally do is substitute kale for collards and I'll make a healthy version of uh, 
sweet and sour vinegar based uh, collards or kale. That's what I do. Uh, Maddie says she's been waiting about three weeks for her Who Chocolate Gems to ship. They refunded me for the delay and gave me 50% off my next order. Bummed Inch? about the delay, but still glad they're fixing it. Wow. I wonder if it's weather related, like it got too, um, the too hottest hot. August ever. Yeah. Or maybe also that they had a huge demand. So many people ordered huge gems for my promo people code. People want to know where Desi is. Uh, she's working in the bedroom. <laughs> That's where she's working. She's working on that app. Is it normal for store-bought pork to have flavoring? Very disappointed to find natural food. No, it's not. Oh, but that's very common for... What was it? Was it like a marinated pork thing in a package? Well, you tell us. I'm guessing it was just supposed to be plain pork. Listen, I don't buy plain pork from the grocery store because it's factory farmed. Although today, Art and I did see organic Canadian ground pork at a Whole Foods, which I was very happy to see. But to be honest, I'd rather find locally sourced pasture-raised pork by going to eatwild.com typing your zip code, it'll tell you local co-ops and farms that sell pasture-raised pork, chickens, and grass-fed beef. Which is better, Who Chocolate or Lily's? Um, if you're paleo, Hue by far. If you're keto, uh, Lily's. Ingredient-wise, Hue's better because you're using coconut sugar. Lily's uses uh, stevia, soy lecithin, and uh, non-GMO erythritol, which is fine. Oh, and they use uh, milk fat, too. So if you don't care about keto and just want clean paleo chocolate, huge gems by far. Cryptomorphia says, outer aisle thins are my new fave. Dude, they're so good. We might use them tomorrow for the live stream. I have a whole pasture raised chicken in the fridge, a beautiful one from Cook's Venture. Andrew, and I might grill it and then make wraps with the uh, outer aisle. Andrew Adlin asked, do you ever dry bean meat covering with salt overnight? I've done that. Meat? Yeah. Uh, no. I did it with a tomahawk steak. It was delicious. Yeah, it's not, I like to dry age my own beef sometimes. Let's dry dry brine it. Salt it overnight. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Yeah. It, oh. it, it works well for steaks. I want steaks. to buy one of those dry aging bags that Google has and dry age Well, that's like a, not dry brining. That's just dry aging. Yeah, I want to dry age it. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Oh, Ray Farrell back in the house. We Ray had, saw you for the first time in a while on the last live stream What's earlier up, Ray? today, and we see you now. Welcome again. It smells good with the garlic salt. Indian men only. Hello. If you're gonna dry age like a steak like that in your fridge, you can't just do like one steak. It should be like a relatively thick piece of. Yeah, it. there's gonna be a lot of waste. Yeah, if you if you do that, you're gonna cut out a lot of that steak, and it's gonna be pretty. Hey, you wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Like cut your own steaks from it. Look at these beautiful. But dry brining though, you, yeah, you can yeah, just dry, buy a single steak. Look at these, you guys. I got beautiful uh, organic sun gold tomatoes on sale at Whole Foods. These are sweet like sugar. They're like molasses. Oh, so good. I'm going to wash some of these. Wash it. Wash it real good. So let me show you this chicken I want to make tomorrow on machine live stream. Machine washable. I went to machine washable. I went to... Uh, Local foods in Chicago. If you live in Chicago and want some of the best locally sourced produce and uh, hey, Rusty, and meats, go to Local Foods on Willow and Elston. Rusty, check this out. This is one of the best pasture raised chickens I ever got. It's from Cook's Venture. Look at this art. It's a whole pasture raised chicken, but they don't just stop at pasture raised. So it's fifteen dollars, which is not a bad deal at all. But look at this. Heirloom, pasture-raised, slow-growth, air-chilled, regenerate. This is like too legit, too legit to quit. Hi, hi, that is chicken is bomb. We're going to spatchcock it and roast it in the oven. Maybe we'll make a wild rice salad or something When's like that? that. What's that? When's that? Tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think I missed some questions. Is local food still 100% curbside pickup? Yes, it is. Jennifer Garcia, five dollars. Missed you guys. Been working and did not catch a live stream. Getting ready for this hundred plus weather weekend in LA. Lots of Woo! salad and coconut water. Dang girl, yeah, get, get, get some harmless harvest at Costco. Buckle up. Did Jennifer. you ever try coconut cult ice cream? Remember they were seventy dollars for three pints. It's on its way. I emailed them and I said, Hey, do you mind sending uh, some samples over and I'll review it on my channel? And they were like kind of questioning me, like, Ooh, we don't really do collabs right now. Uh, can we see your channel to check it out? I'm like guys, I'm offering exposure on a million plus channel and just asking for a pint of ice cream. So anyway, uh, yes, they are there sending it on the way. We'll check it out. Stangman briskets this weekend. That's what Stangman's doing? Well, no, he was asking me about the brisket. Oh, yeah. I said that Art, you got to follow. Art, right, what's your Instagram so people can follow? Uh, handle us. One word. Arthur Almasy. A-R-T-H-U-R-A-L-M-A-S-S-Y. Yeah. We can't make it, unfortunately, but I'm going to... 
live vicariously through Instagram. Art's smoking Murray a in the prime house. Uh, brisket from Costco. Oh, brisket. Would I try a vegan diet? No. I'm very big on veggies on the side, but science shows that a pure vegan diet does not get the proper nutrition that comes from animal-based meat, and you will be lacking over time. I don't eat crappy animal meat. I eat pasture-raised chicken. I eat grass-fed beef, and I eat pasture-raised pork and wild-caught uh, fish for the most part. So we filmed two videos at Whole Foods today. We filmed the video about the most yeah, Richard, uh, immune brisket. system boosting foods at the grocery store. So we're referring to vitamin C, zinc, and uh, vitamin D. We have some great info in there, and I give you a link to a new uh, supplement that has all three of those on Amazon that I just ordered that I highly recommend taking in the fall and winter because you got to support your immune system. Stangman, thanks for the suggestion. I have a water plan in place already. Yeah, he's, he's ready, ready to go. That's, that's already in the Then scope. we did a video about uh, cooking oils, just a little refresher about that. And tomorrow, we're filming a very interesting video about garlic and why the garlic you have at home is most likely from China and why that's a big, big problem. It's... And I'll show you. I have the garlic here. Chinese garlic is bad for many reasons, and it's bad because it puts uh, USA, uh, California, Gilroy farmers out of business. I'll show you how to spot the difference in a second. Jackie M says, Bobby, I have a question. My husband is allergic to shellfish. Which fishes do you recommend? Um, well, most fish like I'm cooking now is not shellfish, right? So I'd recommend Branzino. I'd recommend Arctic char. Wild caught salmon, good quality farm raised salmon, like uh, from Whole Foods or from Moe. And you gotta stay away from shellfish like shrimp, crab, which I don't care about anyway, and scallops. Maddie says, I probably won't go back to a meat diet after being vegetarian for 12 years now, but if I was going to incorporate one meat, what do you think it should be? Grass fed beef. Uh, because of the high quality heme protein, because of the zinc. So zinc is one thing you can't get enough of in the winter and fall, and your body doesn't store any zinc, so you gotta replace it on a daily basis. And uh, grass-fed beef, pasture-raised pork, and lamb have really high amounts of zinc. So I go grass-fed beef, also because of those omega-3 fatty acids, and because of the conjugated linoic acids. Rachel Sedgwick says, is the big bag of frozen wild-caught salmon from Costco Bobby approved? I just became a monthly supporter on Facebook. Uh, oh, thanks, Rachel, yeah, I appreciate that. Um, if it's processed in the USA, yes. You gotta make sure it's not processed in China. Uh, a lot of those are sneaky. Like if you buy wild caught uh, salmon from uh, Costco, it'll say it's processed in China. That's a major no-no. All right, take a look at Mr. Fishy's eyes. We started with clear, beautiful eyes <laughs> from the uh, Branzino. You can hear uh, ben, ben Stein right now, clear eyes. Gets he, yeah, he, he needs clear eyes. So he's cooked, he's done. And I Stick know it's done. Major. Actually, that's exactly what I'm going to do, Art. So you might say, Bobby, how is it done? I'm going to do exactly what Art said. I'm going to stick a fork in it. I'm going to peel away some of the skin. Viviana's mom grows garlic, and it's potent. Oh, that sounds good, Vivi. I'm going to tell you a little sneak peek about that video. So how do I know it's done? I stick my fork in there, and see that? It's flaky. It's done. Okay? Now, here's what I want to do. Okay? 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 Then I'll take some of my favorite. By the way, look at this. Art sees in the carbon steel pan, everyone. Could be a little darker, but. Hey, yeah. right. he did it. We're gonna start cooking with that. All right, so check it out. While it's resting, this is like my go-to move now. It's my go-to. It's my go-to. It's my go-to. I take this, just spoon it over there. Folks, for the record, my text tone on my phone. If Bobby right, texts me, it goes, Bobby. it's my go-to, and it's a quote of Bobby. Oh, thank you. Uh, can you explain where that came from? Bobby was on the WGN, what, Midday News segment? Something like, like that. Like seven years ago. It's my very first appearance ever on news. And as he was talking about some wine that he liked, he described it as his go-to and said, like, it's my go-to three times in, like, 15 seconds. It's my go-to. It's my go-to. It was really it's my funny. So now, anytime Bobby texts me, it's my go-to. And then I, I, know poured, then I poured the host a glass of wine, <laughs> and I smelled her wine first. Stuck and his schnoz her. way in the glass. I'm and like, yeah, it smells right great. She's, I'm like, yeah, it's my go-to. Okay, let me just show, I wanna, don't wanna ruin my video coming out uh, soon, but look at these two heads of garlic art. This is garlic grown in California. This is garlic grown in China. You could always spot the difference because the one in China will have the root end removed and there'll be a divot there. I got no, no roots. roots. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, because uh, it's gonna be cheaper shipping weight. My friends, you always wanna buy USA garlic. Back in the day, 10 years ago, almost all garlic in the country came from Cal California, specifically Gilroy, California. Now the majority comes from China. Believe it or not, it's cheaper to buy uh, garlic that comes from China, even though it comes overseas, than it is to buy domestic. Very big problem for a couple reasons. Number one, culinary speaking, Chinese garlic tastes bitter. It has less sugar as scored on the BRICS index. And chefs will always tell you, this is bitter and metallic. This is pungent and almost sweet, very good quality. So bad culinary speaking. Number two, China does some horrible things while farming uh, garlic. Number one, they bleach it as soon as it comes out. See how the California garlic has some spots on there and it's dirty and it doesn't do anything. It's not bad for it. Chinese garlic always looks pristine. They dip it in chlorine. They bleach it to make it look pretty, to kill any bugs in there, and to prevent it from sprouting when it ships overseas. That's strike number one. Strike number two, they're known to use neurotoxic gas when farming as a pesticide stuff that's illegal here. We can't use it, they can. That happens a lot with other things too, like tea. Strike number two. Strike number three, they oftentimes use sewer water during the farming practice that is loaded with toxins and pollutants and can score high in heavy metals like lead. Strike three, you're out. Avoid this kind of garlic at all costs. Plus, support U.S. farmers. Buy local sourced uh, farmer's market garlic. It's way better. Plus, if you ever buy pre-peeled or pre-minced garlic, this is most likely from Chinese uh, garlic. I'm giving away the whole video, but, no, but I don't care. Um, if you watch Rotten on uh, Netflix, there's a garlic episode. Uh, a company in the U.S., I'm not going to name their name, imports Chinese prisoner peeled garlic and then uses that to sell pre-peeled garlic or pre-minced. First of all, culinary speaking, this garlic is inferior. It has very little flavor compared to fresh, and it's always packed with citric acid, which is fine, but it offers a little bit of a sour flavor that's not good. There's undercover footage of Chinese prisoners biting the peel off of the garlic because their fingers have been used so much, it burns away their uh, nails, so they peel it. That's illegal, but they skirt the system and find a way to import it anyway. That's strike number four. From a health standpoint and flavor standpoint, USA, USA garlic is the way to go. It's not a China bad kind of thing. It's a China is doing horrible things with farming. It's not just with garlic. You wanna buy USA garlic and look at this art. This is from, this is from Aldi. I went through today. What does it say right there? Products of China. So you can see it. This is Chinese. This is American. I hope you guys are gonna find that video interesting. Justin wants you to make a cinnamon babka. Ooh, that sounds good. And Jackie Adam Spiegel, forty nine ninety nine super chat. Wow. Hi Bobby. Yes. Hi Art. Just got my delivery from S. Thank you very hey. much. Thank you, Bobby, for the website. Happy Thursday. Happy cooking. Mad love. Jackie, you are the sweetest. Thank you, Thank Jackie. you so much. Thoughts on organic three sixty five peeled garlic. It probably is a USA Brad, but even when you peel garlic like that like that, the flavor goes downhill. You want fresh. Don't be lazy, Goju Jang. I know you ain't uh, lazy. Brits think Americans use Clorox on the chicken meat. That is not true at all. There is really, really cruddy chicken that can be dipped in water or water chill that has some bleach to kill surface bacteria, speaking of. Uh, but no, that is not true. Air chilled chicken is the way to go. And no, my Brit friends, we don't do that. Bobby and R, what do you recommend for giving out Halloween candy? Get what the kids want. Hey, you know what? That's a tough one. I actually got that. I got that question three times this week. You know, get, get these, um, what are they called, sun drops. I think they're like clean M&Ms. Just your, get that. Your, house is, be your that. house is gonna get egged. Yeah, I don't wanna be that parent who's like, give them a homemade Twix bar, whatever, you know. Uh, Let them eat that, get sick, and then realize they don't wanna eat that crud anymore. Parham wants a new hybrid name. How about Gogi Jang? <laughs> Gogi Jang? Like gee? Go oh, gee. nice. Gogi Jang. Hey guys, let's use my... My new ceramic pan to toast some nuts. Check it out. Uh, confession from Viviana. Yes, I mince, I mince my mom's garlic and freeze it. Is that okay? Uh, yes, that is fine. You might lose a little bit of flavor, Vivi, but it's fine. So remember I told you in the pan video that has a lot of views. Uh, Did you take the croutons out yet? Say again? Croutons. Yeah, they're out. They're right there. See? Nice and crunchy. Beautiful. This is a ceramic pan I was waiting for in the mail. This is the Zwilling pan. It's very heavy compared to that Swilling. green pan, but here's the cool thing about it. Look at this. 
stainless steel exterior, aluminum core thick in the middle, and very tough resistant uh, ceramic coating. This compared to the green pan, look, this is an eight inch one, and this green pan one is eight inch here. This is literally half the weight. Bust out the scale. I uh, could, but uh, I could do that. I'm just not gonna. Uh, the coating is very similar, but look, this is not. This is inferior, this is superior, and the inner core, which is very important for even distribution of heat, is way better in the swilling. Swilling, right? All right. Do you have a code for S? Um, no, I don't, but on their website, they have a coupon for Target orders. Um, yes, so I don't have a code, unfortunately. Tweety Bird, Bobby sends the Shun knives over to Shun and lets them deal with them. He doesn't sharpen them himself. Yeah, no. Them my knives are way too expensive and nice for me to butcher them or have someone in Chicago do it. Jackie, I'm well. Thank you. How are you? So, makes sense. so if you go to, uh, once again, or check it out. If you click on my Amazon shop page, this will take you to my, um, all my gear. And I have the 12-inch version of that pan. And I have the 8-inch green pan. But to be honest, if you can get the 8-inch version of that swilling one that I have listed, get that. I should I've, update it. I've been told to do a taste test of the croutons. Go for it, Holmes. All right. Those are keto paleo garlic cheese croutons. Mmm, I like it. Mm, me like. I'll take the whole pan. <laughs> I really do like them. Have a macadamia nut. Yeah, I'd rather have a crouton. Hey, roasty. Fine. So I'm gonna toast some nuts. Or uh, some pistachios and some macadamia nuts. I'm gonna toast them in ghee with a little bit of fennel and some salt and pepper. A very easy but classy move. Man, listen, classy move, leave the shell on the tray. Yeah, that's right. I'm using my ceramic pan. And remember what I said in that video. Ceramic pans are for medium to low heat. If you cook anything over higher heat, you don't want ceramic because they heat up very quickly and you're going to burn your food. So for medium, high, and high, I'm going to use my new carbon steel pan that Art's using or cast iron or stainless steel. For lower heat food, I'm going to use... This, my beautiful new ceramic pan. Are you making a big salad, Bobby? Don't take I credit, don't, don't don't take, don't take credit for the big salad. I'm going to take credit for it. Add I made raisins? It and I'm delivering it. Going to add raisins? Um, I'm, gonna, I'm out of raisins. I'm going to add cherries, actually. How about that? Let's add some more. Have you said hi to everyone, Roasty? Hi, Roasty. Cheesy croutons. Art is loving life right now. That's true, Vivian. <laughs> Rose, you're giving Kara a hard time, huh? <laughs> hmm? Huh? Hi, Rostina. Do you want to say hi to everyone? You can come in, Kara. Everyone say hi to Kara and Rosty Heroes. Oh, one. And two. And three. Oh. That backfired. Say so, hi. A little bit of salt. Here's my dinner's almost done. I've only been on. I told you 45 minutes. How long have I been on for Art? Uh, 43. Oh my, I have two more minutes and then Desi's giving me the axe. So check it out, you guys. A little bit of ghee goes in here. We're gonna toast the nuts <clears throat> and put a little bit of fennel powder in there. Fennel is like that black li licorice flavor. I know some of y'all don't like that, so you can use... Kara, Jackie says you are a great babysitter. Oh, thank you. She is fantastic. Says, thank you. Okay, that'll just do its thing. And then, let's get rid of the nuts here. I'm gonna show you how to fill it, this beautiful Branzino. You got a mignon on it? You said 6.30. No, no, I said 45 minutes. Art said we're at 44 minutes right now. No, 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 no. 43 minutes and 45 seconds. I said dinner be ready at 5.30. Then we started, uh, you're slowing me down, you're slowing me down. Hold your horses, lady. Hold on, it's not 5.30 yet. All right, check it out, you guys. It's 5.30 somewhere, though. It's five o'clock somewhere. Okay, check it out, y'all. <laughs> Andrew says, Beavis and Butthead, uh, he said, toasty nuts. <laughs> All right, this is how you finish this, okay? Finish him. First, I'm going to cut the line right there, okay? Bring it all the way down. Then I'm going to go up the fish's back like this. Then... What did it ever do to you? True. Well... If you're a season one fan of Game of Thrones, I call this officially Ned Starking the Fish. Come in here, Art. 
It's when they took that moment where you're like, they killed Ned Stark? Yes, they did that. They popped his head off, right? Then, Art hasn't seen that show, just so you know. Yep. I don't think Art has time to get to it. No. We go in here, we scrape out the aromatics, try to loosen up the fish from the vertebrae, we open it just like that. Tom and Jerry moment, ready? Boom, look at that. Beautiful, right? Same thing over here. Ned Stark part two, off. Very Thank easy. You. I know Viviana seems... also hasn't seen Game of Thrones. Vivi, really? And she loves cheese balls. Nice. Vivi, do you live in New York? What are you, a Brooklyn girl? I forgot. Remind me. And then we'll do this. Very easy. I know it's a little intimidating looking, but trust me, it ain't. It's very easy. And look, we scrape out all the aromatics. We go in here, we loosen that. We go bada bing bada boom, Mr. Worldwide in the room. Grass Salads in Denmark and says, is Art a normal name in the U.S.? <laughs> yes. Art or Arthur is a normal the name. The person himself isn't very normal. Yes, Art, yes Art, Art himself is not the most normal, but it's okay. eccentric. I just kind of loosen that up. Loosen that up. Good. What were the settings on the oven to cook the fish? 400 degrees. 400 not degrees, my dear. Toasting our nuts here. Uh, we got to do... Uh, then a little drizzle. Upstate of... New York, originally for Connecticut. Oh, nice. But you live now there or where? Maybe. A little bit of EVOO, a little bit of flaky sea salt, because we didn't season the inside, right? A little bit of salt on the inside. Police are on the way for beheading the fish. <laughs> the police have more important issues right now, I think. Turn the news on. And then... Danielle, this is Branzino. we got to finish the salad art. Let's do she this. She works in New York City. Oh, cool. A little bit of salt in the salad. I don't have time to make a store-bought, I don't have time to make a homemade dressing, so I'm gonna use a store-bought one. You guys think I, I'm gonna reach for Primal Kitchen or Chosen Food, whatever is in here and looks better. Here we go, Baja <laughs> Goddess. Look at this, Baja Goddess Chosen Food. Look at this, with that real high quality avocado oil, lemon juice, tahini, ACV, jalapenos. Look at that, nice, very, very good. Uh, Grass Sand in Denmark says, when you say art here, it's about Van Gogh and so on. <laughs> Patty M, Super Chat, two ninety nine. Love Laird's Mint Creamer. Thanks for the tip. So good. Thank you. Love to hear that, Patty. Pauling, New York is where she lives. Ah, Vivian. gotcha. Check those nuts, Shaheen says. I just, I just flipped them. Thank you, Shahini. Appreciate that. Then we'll just mix up our salad. This is actually a salad you can make ahead of time because it's hearty and farty and it's not going to get wilty and dilty. Do I have to buy organic lemons? No, 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 of course not. Just wash them with some hot water or warm water and you're good to go. Tahini is always a great addition to any fish. Um, you know what? I've never thought of doing that, to be honest. <clears throat> Depends how delicate the fish is because it's a very, very strong flavor, Shahini. How about a little scoopy? Art, what's the dressing? Uh, the dressing is over there. Baja goodness. Baja, Baja. Baja. There you go. And then a little shtickle of... Uh, of mayonnaise, avocado oil mayonnaise too. Uh, Branzino for whoever just asked the fish question. I missed the name. We gotta toss our nuts here. Chickpeas would also go well in this salad. Uh, yes, chickpeas would if you wanna add some legumes, add some nice fiber in there. Couscous, quinoa would go nice. Wild rice would be lovely. All right, even lentils would be lovely. That's the goddess, it's a good goddess, oh, yeah. Thank you. I Baja try. goddess. I'll take our beautiful, I gotta taste one of these because the art was all. They're tasty. Mm, that's really nice. Wow. Thank you, Josie. I am nerdy, but I'm proud of it. Okay. Then. Did you add cherries, Bobby? Say again? Did you add cherries? Oh, no. Thank you. Dried you cherries or what? Look at the color under it, guys. It smells great from that fennel. It almost smells like snossage. You said you weren't going to put uh, raisins in there. What were you going to put in I don't have. I have dog cherries. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought he was yes. going at. I'm going to... Stangman. Uh, is that Stangman who reminded me? Yeah. Thank you, Stangman. Little Trader Trader Joe's is the only place that sell. Sherry Kennedy, four ninety nine. Sherry, hi guys. Running now, late for an appointment, but had to say hi. Hashtag priorities. Yeah, thank, you. thank you, Sherry. Sherry. I think you're the one who recommended that L icing for my cold syrup. Am I correct? I ordered it along with that cream, and it's arriving tomorrow. Although the uh, cold syrup is getting a lot better today. Thank God. That was the cold syrup from hell, man. Yes, sir, Sherry says. Thank you, Sherry Bear. What are the croutons made from, Rachel Sedwick says. Uh, Rachel, they're made from that base culture bread. 
It's the new um, vegan uh, cheese bread. <clears throat> I tossed it with EVOO, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. For a semi-homemade salad, that looks bomb.com. She thought that you don't eat bread. Uh, it's paleo keto bread, my friends. Aha, I tricked you. Ha ha, fooled you. Look at this salad. Give a round of applause for that lovely colon blow salad. Then we do this. We get a plate. Madame Nolet, I, sorry, I don't know, is it, we'll add some. Jose? Wow. Josie? To be honest, the smell, Help do you smell out. that fennel, almond, uh, fennel nuts are? It smells like sausage from that lovely fennel. Okay, so we put that down. This is going to be a great little meal. Then we take our Apologies, fish. Apologies, I'm botching your name. You really need a fish spatula for this, just so you know, right? We'll take the fish What's your here? favorite type of fish to eat? Um, probably Arctic char. We'll put down one of those. You left a gill on there, or a, a fin. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's okay, no one's gonna care. A little bit of squeeze of lemon juice. And then that's it, you can do a little parsley if you wanted to. Do I, hey, I got it right here, a little parsley. And to be honest, a whole fish can be eaten by one person. And I probably did not buy enough, but I'll make some hot dogs afterwards. <laughs> a little garnet. There it is. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. All right. Lemon squeezy. Lemon squeezy. Done. That's your dinner. Let's finish the rest of the plates and finish this live stream. The fish is great. Once again, how about red chilies? Oh, I put it there. I don't think you need it, to be honest. I'll garnish on a couple. So the fish is called Branzino. It wasn't at Whole Foods for, gosh, five months now, ever since Corona started and they just started getting it back. It's very high quality farm raised Greek, um, Greek uh, Branzino. And it's a mild flavored, slightly oily fish that is perfect roasted whole. Desi loves it and so do I, and I'm so glad it's back. It's about $13-ish for the whole fish. That's a great deal compared to buying it at a restaurant. Brielle wrote, wow, wow, we wow. Well said, well said, Brielle. Going to restaurants, that's what, that's what we used to do back in the day. Remember when people used to go to restaurants? Did you say Brent? Who wants to eat the eyeball now? Anyone? Come on, look at that. Coffee Pot says, did you say Barzini like in The Godfather? <laughs> no, I did not, not like Michael Barzini. I said Branzino, right? Okay, well, I really don't have that much food. Okay, I'll figure it out. So that's it, you guys. Uh, here, why don't you, Art, you come in. Arm says it's eleven ninety nine a pound and delicious. Yeah, it's actually twelve ninety nine at my one in Chicago. Art, Carsco, come in. I'm not feeling adventurous. I'm not going to do the eyeball. <laughs> I'm going to film Art taking Hello, a bite off his bets. plate. So you can double dip all you want. I can double dip all I want. Yes, this one's you, mine. You can choose whatever you want. I go for the one on the right. Yeah, I got to do a protein bar review, uh, Jack. It's been a popular request. Yeah, turn the hat around. Yeah, you got to get serious. Yeah. Put a little more light in my face. It's like Sly Stallone in a arm wrestling movie. Hi, everybody. That's right, Tanya. Two videos in one day. Good morning in the Philippines, the home of Peely Nuts. Make sure I don't got any bones in here. Yeah, be careful. Mmm. A little bit of bone. <laughs> I'm not sure I put salt on that uh, filet. Yeah, no. no. Yeah, it's, that's the only bad part about eating this. No, peanut oil is not okay. You gotta be careful of the bones. A little bit, yeah, you, there's bones in there. Put a little bit of salt in there. Gonna season. Whoa, Jackie, $50 with a your amazing wow. uh, Asian-inspired dog there. Thank you, Jackie. You are, you are honestly amazing. Thank you for recommending the channel too. It's a very delicate fish, tasty. Yes. You just need a little bit of salt, but good flavor. Yep. Oh yeah, a thousand Hearty people salad. here, not bad. Nice crunch. Yeah, I think everyone needs a friend like Art, says Brooklyn. Well said. Art is uh, few and far between, trust me. Thank you, Jax. Tasty stuff, folks. Yeah, so that's it, you guys. Awesome little meal here for our second live stream of the day. DJ Luis Santiago. I picked up lamb chops from Costco. That's my homie, DJ. That's right, baby. Do a remix on that and make them. Oh, so that's it. I want to serve it while it's warm to Desi and Rose and Kara and everyone. Um, we'll be back tomorrow, Fridays with Flav at 4 o'clock. We're going to make that pasture-raised chicken in the, uh, in the fridge. Isn't this fun? We've done a live stream almost every day this week. Two today, 
if it were up to me, I'd be going all day long, right? And I think it'd be really fun if we turned this into a family vlog channel and really show the dynamic of the family. But for that, Art would have to move in and film nonstop. So I don't know about that, but we'll figure it out. Awesome time. Shaheen, Maddie, Charmin, Viviana. Great time. Art, Desi, Rose, and I leave you like we always do. Let's say it together. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later, guys. Art, I cut your head. Oh, I cut man. your head. I crush it. And that start me. <laughs> and that's Say